Is my diamond fake or real? Many people want quick and easy ways to answer this question. Some methods pass. Others fail. Below are some of the tests suggested, and what we think about them. The water test The basis behind this test is that a real diamond is incredibly dense, so this test will allow you to assess the density of your gemstone from your home. Fill a tumbler up 3 stroke 4 full with water and drop the loose stone in if it floats, it is a fake if it sinks then you are back to step 1. Test sounds scary but, if the diamond is real, you have nothing to fear, to begin. Fill a glass with cold water and put on a pair of fireproof gloves. Heat the stone for around 30-40 seconds then immediately submerge it in the cold water. A real diamond will show no reaction, a fake is likely to shatter. This rapid expansion and contraction of heat will cause weak materials like cubic zirconia to crack and shatter. A diamond is resistant to heat tests as the heat quickly disperses, leaving it unaffected by the drastic changes in temperature. Be sure to carry out this tester. Temperature. Be sure to carry out this test as safely as possible. Fog test. This is a less extreme test of the stone's abilities to conduct heat. To carry out the fog test, hold the diamond between two fingers, so that it can be clearly seen, and breathe on it. If the fog immediately dissipates, it is likely that the stone is a real diamond. If the fog remains for several seconds, it means that the stone is not effectively conducting heat and is a fake. The UV light test If you have been researching certification and diamond quality, you may have heard the term fluorescence. This describes the phenomena of a diamond emitting a blue glow when viewed under UV light. This glow can range from faint to very strong. However, not all diamonds possess this quality, so an absence of this blue glow does not necessarily indicate that the diamond is a fake. It's a fun test but not the most conclusive. The read-through test The newspaper test, or read-through test, is one of the ways you can test reflectivity, a diamond's ability to bounce, bend and refract light. Place the stone upside down onto a newspaper over the lettering in a well-lighted area. Be sure that there are no shadows being cast over the stone or the newspaper. If you are able to read the letters, even if there is a slight blur, the stone is fake. A real diamond will refract the light in multiple directions from its various facets. This refraction will prevent you from being able to see clearly through the diamond to read. The lettering. Dot test The dot test also examines the refractive properties of a stone. Draw a small dot on a piece of white paper with a pen. Lay the stone flat side down over the dot and ensure the area is well lit with no shadowing. Through the pointed end of the diamond, look down to the paper. If you can see the dot reflected inside the gemstone and it is circular, the diamond is fake. If you cannot see the dot, nor a circular reflection, it is likely that the diamond is real. Like the newspaper test, the powerful refractive properties of a natural diamond will allow the light to bounce in different directions, and this is why you will not see the dot through the diamond. The sparkle test The sparkle test is a by eye form of testing your diamond. This is pitched as a great way to gain a better understanding of the optical properties of a diamond, as well as helping to indicate whether or not the diamond is a genuine, natural diamond. A lab-grown diamond will be the same as a mined diamond. Hold the diamond beneath a light source, such as a lamp, and examine how the light reflects off of the diamond. Is there a white, blinking quality to the diamond? Scintillation? Are there also reflections of rainbow light? We covered diamonds for these properties, and taking the time to examine this will give you a lot of information about the stone. This test is best performed with a point of comparison, for example, if you have a cubic zirconia that you are able to compare with the diamond, you will be able to identify the striking differences between them. This test is not foolproof. A badly cut diamond that is heavily included and has a low color grading will not give the distinctive sparkle that expect from a diamond and so the entrained eye may find it harder to identify these optical properties. Similarly, the quality of synthetic diamonds has improved greatly over the years, meaning that a diamond novice may be deceived. What about the scratch test? Perhaps one of the best known myth tests to see if a diamond is genuine is to scratch it against a mirror or piece of glass. This method tests the hardness of one material against another and is based on the Mohs scale. 
the scale upon which minerals are graded in terms of hardness. Unfortunately, this test is not accurate. Glass measures at 5.5 on the Mohs scale. That means that anything with a higher score can scratch it. Materials such as quartz, moissanite and cubic zirconia all rank higher than glass, meaning that they too would leave a scratch. It is also known Auburn said that you can use an own diamond to destroy any fake except a synthetic diamond. But if you do that you also take the risk of scratching a real diamond with a real diamond.